All right, welcome everybody to Diamond Zone Monday morning edition. Let me um, do this here. Boom. All right. All right, excited to have all you guys on the call today. Um, as a lot of you know, we just got back from um, GoPro, um, Lisa and I, and it was a phenomenal event. Let me see, I, I wanna get this. How do I get all of you back? Oh, here, screen share. Am I still recording? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, so we just got back from GoPro and it was a, a phenomenal event. You know, as, I, as all of you know, you know, we've been in the industry of network marketing for 25 years and we've never missed a company event. Um, I, I think that's key for everybody is, um, you know, to always commit to those events because, you know, it's personal development, but more importantly, it provides an environment to get around. And I really think that's a key to people's success. Um, in this industry, that's for sure. Um, and that's, you know, that's obviously one of the reasons why we have, you know, Diamond Zones. Diamond Zones get you around a, an environment every morning. And, and the more you plug into, you know, the more money you make. But, uh, you know, I was kind of taken aback, you know, walking into this event. It's our first Eric Worre event. Um, and, and here's the reason. You know, the company we came from, uh, it was a different mentality. The owner of that company didn't want you outside of what he was providing. You know, it was a form of control. And um, it's, just, it's just the way, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just the way and the philosophy of certain people. He didn't want you to go out there and get information from other people. And uh, so we never, ever, ever looked outside of what we were involved in. And, and, and a lot of people don't know this part of our story. The reason we left that company is because I started to look outside of what I was involved in. And I started to see, you know, people earning way more money um, and, and also um, the energy and the philosophies were different. And uh, when I started to do that, I started to personally grow more. And that's when we've made that decision, right, to, to leave that company for the first time. And um, it was from that point forward, it was unbelievable personal growth. Nothing against what that gentleman, per, that couple taught us. We are who we are because of that experience. And I really believe um, it was just our journey. I'm a firm believer in that. Okay, I'm a firm believer that your journey is your journey. You, you never question it. It's just what it is. And be the best person you can be as you take that journey. So when I walked into GoPro, you know, you had 300 companies represented, 10,000 people, and it was, uh, it was a phenomenal event, guys, with many, many, many different speakers. We're talking about top earners within their own companies. And uh, at all the breaks, you know, the talk of, I'm just telling you, the talk of that, of that conference is World Global Network. It, it, you know, the first thing Eric Worre comes up and says, First thing before the meeting even starts, he goes, I want everybody to pay attention, put down their phones, and I wanna make sure everybody understands this is sacred. This is a no recruiting zone. In other words, you're not coming there. You're not coming there to share and try to recruit other people. And, and he was very clear, and if anybody tried to, they would be kicked out of the conference. So, and I love that. But I will tell you, as you meet with people and you ask people what they do, what kind of business they're in, I'm in supplements. Every time that someone asks me and Lisa, I would, just, I would just say we're with World. And you know what? It's the talk of the conference. People see the results people have gotten in, a, in less than a year. It's out there. Everybody knows about us. And um, that's something you all should feel really good about. And I'm a firm believer, as you all know, in finding your little successes. And the one thing I want to emphasize with today as we move into, into this training is you have to really, really, really believe in your system. You have to believe in what you're bringing people into. If you don't, if you don't, then you're going to stay stagnant. And it's always going to be when this happens or when that happens or I'll make a decision to finally do it, you know, after the holidays. 
right? Okay, Thanksgiving's coming, so I'm going to blow off, blow off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then all of a sudden, Thanksgiving comes. You go, you know what? Okay, Christmas is coming in the next 30 days. Then all of a sudden, it's January, and I'll set my goals in January. And before you know it, you blink, and the first quarter of next year is over, and you still did nothing. Okay, I know it because we played that game. And, 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 and the first thing I want to open up was this. I just want to ask this question. Based upon the way you've been playing the game of multi-level marketing, up until today, based on the way you've been playing this game, can you really, 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 be honest with yourself, don't answer to me, can you expect to win? Based on how you've been playing this. And if the answer is no, then what do you have to do? See, here's the next question. How much time are you really investing? Really, really, really investing into your business. Because a lot of people we say, what do we always say? Set your goals, right? Okay, based on the goal you set, are you really putting forth the effort needed in order to achieve that goal? And these are, these are just some of the questions that, and I'm giving you a lot of the tidbits that people gave us, not that you haven't heard them. Okay, I think, I think here, because you're on Diamond Zone every day with different speakers um, a lot of the times, right? A lot of the stuff that you're hearing, you hear over and over again. But receiving the information and hearing the information is two different things. Two completely different things. And, and, and every speaker that came across that stage said they had their aha moment, whatever it was. And a lot of times is when they were completely broken down. When they finally said, you know what? There's no other alternative. I have to make this work. It's unfortunate, but sometimes that's human nature. Okay, so understand that it, it's, it's, it's going through the consistent struggles where you finally come to a day where you say, you know what, no more, no more. And I'm gonna play this again, because it's gonna lead me into, into uh, what I wanna talk about today. And, and, and you guys saw it, I closed it the other day, but I think this is a big key there, you know, set. Every single speaker that came across said this is the key first. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? Damn it. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? God damn it. What do you want? Until you know that. Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? Yes? Shake your head. Okay. Until you know that. Until you know that, nothing's going to happen, guys. And I'm just telling you. Nothing will happen until you know what you want. you got to write that down. It's got to be clear. And the messages that came from this conference, okay, there's every speaker. I took, I took, I took notes. i, I, I got to show you my notes, okay? okay? It's not like I haven't heard this, guys, but it doesn't make a difference. You could learn, okay? I got 55 pages of notes here, 55 pages of notes, but let me tell you something about how I take notes. I take notes differently. I take notes understanding how the notes apply to Lisa and I. That's how I take my notes. I just don't write down the words, I take the notes based on what they're saying and how I need to receive it. And, and one of the things is this, Every speaker, first thing they said, you got to know what you want. Until you know what you want, I'm telling you, you will do absolutely nothing. Next thing, and that's going to create what, when you, have, when you know what you want, it needs to create belief. And you guys, listen, and I'm telling you, I think this has been a killer for some of us. Believing in what? Believing in the opportunity to be first, right? We all say the same thing, wearable technology. But I think a lot of us are playing this game of World Global Network based on what's coming. 
And if you're playing this game based on what's coming, today you do nothing because you're basing it on what's coming. And I think it causes procrastination. I really do. Blood glucose is coming. Right? This is coming. That's coming. Uh, being medically approved is coming. And we're all waiting for what's coming, and we're telling people what's coming, which causes them pause to make the decision. We're creating our own objections. We're stopping people because we keep telling what's coming. Listen, I'm all about sharing vision, but sharing vision, the key, the, do you know the head start that we all have is because we got involved now to build the base before the masses. If you're doing nothing now, there's no re well, there would be no reason to start when you started. You follow what I'm saying? Why would you, if, if, if you got involved 90 days ago and you've done nothing, then you might as well wait at 90 days. The whole idea is within 90 days to build the base. That's the whole idea. And so you guys want to treat this business, right? Yes, that, that, that it's going to last forever, but end tomorrow. That's how you want to build your business. You want to have urgency. The other message people said, and they had all walks of life, by the way, coming to this. They had uh, the number one uh, poker player in the world uh, talk to us, um, a skateboarder, number one skateboarder in the world. They had a, a, a physician, and they had all the people from multi-level marketing. And you know what the number one thing everybody said? They're obsessed. They were obsessed with their craft. Obsessed. And what comes with obsession is passionate, is being passionate on your daily goals. We're going to talk about that. But here's the other thing, guys. And I will tell you, 100% of the people that came across that stage said, you have to be consistent. Consistency rang true probably five times from every speaker. Consistency, because without consistency, you're never going to get respect. Without consistency, you're never going to get respect from the people that are watching. Oh, and believe me, and believe me, they all said the same thing. Everybody's watching. And it's unfortunate, but human nature is wishing people to fail. And that's what drove most of the speakers. It drove them to prove them wrong. They had to find that inner thing, that inner being that was gonna make them go out there. And if they weren't consistent in their craft, they knew without a doubt they would never achieve their goals. So I go back to what I said just a few seconds ago. Based on how you've been building your multi-level marketing business, are you really shocked with the results we've gotten? And I'm talking to some of you. And a, one of the key components to success is to find your little successes along the way. And one of the things I believe is very, very important for all of you is to be very realistic with your goals. You know how I talk about the accountability of activity? Whatever you're setting for yourself, it's got to be a bite-sized goal. So you could congratulate yourself. You gotta find your little successes. One of the things I took away from one of the speakers was you gotta own the morning. You gotta own the morning. A lot of us, right, we get up and we do nothing for maybe three or four hours. If you own the morning, Okay, it's gonna better your chances to achieve your financial goals. I love that, own the morning. Now, the other thing is that everything that we wanna do, everything, these, these goals you wanna set, the things you wanna change in your life, do you know what it really takes? This is another message. The two biggest message was consistency and energy. Energy, achieving and doing what we all want to do, you can't do it with no energy. 
Energy is contagious. Energy makes you different. And if you're not, if you're not taking steps to improve on your physical well-being, you're never going to have the energy. And I'm telling everybody, this may be the first step that you have to take in order for you to achieve your goals. I've always talked about it. I've always talked about it. The best thing you can do for yourself is to work on you. Because I'll tell you right now, if you had no energy, you can never recruit me. You know, Shaylisa could probably get me. Shaylisa could probably sponsor Jeff. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to match that energy. And I'm not saying you got to be a crazy Shaylisa or a crazy Jeff. But people are always evaluating, don't you? And I, I'm not, like I said, I'm not saying you have to be like me. But you have to have the energy and the stamina to do this. Do you not? you got to be passionate. And these are just little things. And this is what I love about this business. The harder you work on yourself and the more you know about yourself, it's going to be easy to recruit others. Why is that? Because you understand where they were. Because that was you. And when people believe you understand where they are and you then give them an opportunity to change, these are the little tidbits, little nuggets that I took from every speaker. Not the whole presentation, little nuggets that apply to me. And this is what I want you, this is how I want you to be present whenever you're around a leader or you're hearing a training. You gotta be present to what you're taking away from the different messages. So let me ask you this, how consistent are you in your business? Everybody. Now remember, this is all based on you. And this, 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 is, this is the other thing. See, I hear certain things, but I want to apply it to how it applies to all of us. They say you got to be passionate. They say you got to be consistent. They say you got to be work on your energy and be obsessed. But I know what some of you are probably thinking. This is not my full-time gig. I'm putting other energy into other things. Okay. What I'm saying to you then is you got to put forth the energy and the obsession to the time you are going to devote to this. And I will tell everybody very upfront, something has to give. There was one person that hit me between the eyes. Okay. And it's, it's something that I would have to really struggle with. But he's right. You know what he said? I didn't watch TV for three years. He said, the biggest cause, the biggest robbery of time is TV. And I love my sports. And I love my certain shows. You guys know that. Okay. And no, but if I really added it up, how much money did I really give up? See, just certain things that I heard. The biggest robbery of time, because number one objection in our industry, bar none, is I have no time. Easy to say, right? But if you break that down in the health clubs, number one objection, it wasn't money. I have no time. But it was a built-in excuse not to make a change. That's all it was. Because if I sat down with any one of you, I promise you we could find time if we're honest with ourselves. But that was something that I took away. No TV for three years. Became a multi, multi-millionaire with the time he took away from TV and applied it to his business. Because they say the average person watches four to six hours a day. That's what they say. Well, think about that. For all the people saying I have no time and I have a full-time job. Now, going back to what I said earlier, what I said earlier was you have to put forth the effort with an obsession and consistently based on what you're willing to give this. But I challenge anybody, have you actually written down what you're willing to give this business every day and then reverse engineer it? Because I will tell you guys right now, 
all of us, we have to go on a 90 day run. We go on it. We have to go on a 90 day run. I know without a doubt, if we plant the seeds the right way, see to me, November is not over. And December is a great month to do business. But I will tell you, you, you will blink an eye and I'm seriously, you will blink an eye and it'll be February. And you're going to go, you know what? Three more months passed me by and this is not working. This is not working. You're not looking within yourself and going, I didn't work it. It's this isn't working. I love that. And people think the answer is what? Well, if I go over here or if I go over there, things will be different. Guys, you know my saying, wherever you go, there you are. I wrote, I, I wrote something on Facebook, okay? And a lot of you know this. I wrote something and I was sending a message to certain people, okay? They're looking for a different opportunity, but you know what? You are the opportunity. Uh-oh. You are the opportunity. Do you, think, do, you, do you think Jeff and Lisa, okay, are, Hilo doesn't define us. We define Hilo. People get involved with people they what? Believe, like, and trust. Believe, like, and trust. And if you show consistency, you will see the difference when people start to follow you. Now, it's easy in this business. Eric Worre said this. Okay, and I totally agree 100%. It's easy to lose a day, a week, and a month if you don't have a schedule. I just kind of alluded to that. We'll wake up and we'll be, you guys know how time flies. We'll wake up and it'll be, it'll, it'll be Super Bowl, first week of February. And you'll wonder where the last three months went. Because things will take, it's amazing, it's amazing what distracts us. I'm easily distracted. I'm so ADD, it makes me crazy, right? That's why if someone even moves on the screen, my eyes go to that, okay? It's, it's just how I'm wired. I have to be laser focused, but a lot of people get distracted very easy. But you know what doesn't distract us? It's so funny. The very thing that keeps us broke, You know what I'm talking about? Your job. It's amazing how that keeps you laser focused. But then we give people an opportunity to make a change and they really, this is like, this is like a stepchild, right? If you're a bad step, if you're a parent and you have a stepchild, right? And you happen to be a bad, a bad parent, then that stepchild gets what? Second, this is how we treat multi-level. I'm just saying that in general. Don't say that I, Jeff said that you're going to be a bad step parent. You guys understand the analogy. Okay, but you got to find, I want to ask you a question since the time you got involved in this business. How many lost days did you have? Lost days. Days you know you didn't do anything. Speaker after speaker said in their first one year, they had way, money, way many more lost days than they did have productive days. Lost days and multi-level. But here's the problem in our business. And Eric talked about this. It's a very forgiving business. It's a very forgiving business because none of you have enough money in the game to really take it seriously. None of us do. None of us do. No one on this screen, no one on this screen would be a street person if you lost the amount of money you put into World Global Network. Am I not right? But if you look at, if you look at traditional business, you're putting in sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars. But see, your commitment here has to be based on the goals you set. You have to treat this business like you have a million dollars in it. One million dollars. And see if you don't treat your business just a little bit differently. Okay, now, 90-day game plans. <clears throat> a 90-day game plan that we want to set, and, and, and Lisa's going to be doing this training, okay, later on this week or maybe early next week. 90-day game plan 
that we all have to start to set for ourselves for 2018, all of us. And what I want you to do is I want everybody, I'm just gonna go through this, just, just some of these things here, just to get your head right. Okay, where is my, here it is. Jay Lisa, can you see that? Okay. So the three questions I, I asked people to just kind of think about, are you playing to win? Number one. Okay, number two, how can you do better? Be honest with yourself. How can you do better? And what has to change in order for you to do better? You guys just take one to just take 10 seconds right now and really think about that. And after we hang up, I want you to think about these questions because there's no reason in the world everybody on this call shouldn't be thinking, and I don't want to set your goal for you, but shouldn't be thinking that six figures in 2018 is possible. Let's just start with that. I'm talking about eight to ten thousand dollars a month for everybody. There is no reason in the world except what's between your ears that should stop you from having eight to ten thousand dollars coming in to your business. Now remember your income disclosure. Always want to make sure you understand the average person in our industry makes less than five hundred dollars a year. Okay, understand that. Let me ask you a question. Did you get involved here to be average? Did you get involved over here to be a statistic? Then what we have to do is we have to start playing bigger. We, start, we have to start to believe bigger, faster. All of us. Every single one of us, yes. Do you think we're satisfied with where we, we, with where, where we are? No, we're not. All those people across the stage, some of the earnings, 20 million, 30 million in their careers, they have nothing over on us, nothing. And I want you to say the same thing. Jeff has nothing over on me. Jeremy has nothing over on me. Chad and Tita, the only difference is that switch went off. Some of you need to have that switch go off. And you gotta challenge your demons Right, and you gotta find a new hypnotic rhythm because what you've been doing hasn't been working. So something has to change. And I'm gonna say it again, you need energy. Tony Robbins, that's all that man talked about. He's insane. He's absolutely insane. The energy he puts forth. Right, his diet, his exercise. He goes, do you think I could keep my schedule? He put his schedule up. Do you know he does probably 500 speaking engagements a year? What do you think that, what do you think that takes? And some of us, and this is why I'm, I'm just going to say this. I think some of us, we're getting, we're getting this. Um, I love this as a home-based business. But I sometimes think that we all think just being at home, right, and sending out text messages is gonna be the key to our success. You guys, we gotta fill up our funnel, all of us. We have to find different ways. Social media, whatever it may be, social media, warm market, networking events, LinkedIn. You gotta have every aspect of your business. That's the other thing, all these successful people, they never put their eggs in any one niche. Some of us, you hear somebody talk about LinkedIn and we all jump on LinkedIn. And then someone talks about Facebook, we all jump on Facebook. Oh, then Jeff talked about his warm market. Then you, some of you talk to your warm market. It's gotta be balanced. It's gotta be a balanced thing. Okay, so now, understand that what we do, number one, no one makes an income unless a product is sold. You guys have heard the presentations, right? People times product purchased equals earnings. First thing we all do, we sell products. 
whether they buy that product one at a time or whether they buy a package, we sell product. That's what we do. Number two, we grow and expand our network. That's what we do. We're, we, we're looking for other people that want to sell our products and services, right? All of us, that's the mindset we're all in, growing and expanding our network. Another key nugget I took away, never look for the people that are going to grow and expand your network. Be the one that grows and expands the network. Do you guys follow me? What I mean by that? The top people never look for somebody to grow their business. They made the decision to grow their business. They weren't looking for the magic answer. They knew that they have to sponsor lots of people and organically through the numbers, you're going to find people that want to do the same thing. A lot of rookies look for the person that's going to help them get wealthy. Right? Put one on my left, one on my right. And if they're two really big superstars, I could become financially independent. Top earners never thought that way. Top producers. They said, regardless, I'm going to be the one. And since I'm the one, naturally, I will then, I will then invite other leaders to follow me because they've taken on the face of leadership. And that's how they found all their, their, their builders. They had to first become. Because a builder knows when someone else isn't. And this is where you work on your consistency. This is where, when you work on your leadership skills. And these are some of the nuggets that I took away right from this particular conference. Now, we bring our leadership to grow the network. Know how I always talk about there's no traditional overhead? And there isn't. None of you have an infrastructure cost. None of you are hiring employees, right? None of you have millions of dollars of inventory. And to me, that's a problem. But we don't have that. But you know what you need to commit to? You need to commit to your personal development, investing. The only investment you have here is an investment in yourself. That's your only cost of doing business is what you invest in yourself. Through tapes, through personal development, right? You got your $59 a month, right? The loyalty program, you may be on Hilo Life, an extra 30 bucks, whatever that is. But your only investment is an investment in yourself. Maybe joining a gym would be an investment in yourself, right? Whatever you need to do. Maybe you get a, tra a trade show and you have to get a booth. That's an investment in yourself. So when I say there's no traditional overhead, every time we, we, we went to Eric Worre, what did we spend this weekend? We spent about three grand. But if you take away the tickets, the hotel, the food, but that was my, that's my cost. But what is that worth? I'm just giving you an example. What's that worth? I didn't have plane tickets. We drove three and a half hours. But that was that. that what's, what does that conference going to mean for me and Lisa in 2018? Invaluable. Invaluable. How many of you are going to, it's how, you, how many people are coming to Los Angeles in January? That's your investment. And I'm just telling you, these little things, if you're not doing that, then it, it's, it's very, very, very hard for you to, to, to want to, to, that, for you to achieve your financial goals. I love that the only investment I have is what, what I put into myself as far as personal development goes. Okay? Now, an unwritten want is a wish, a dream, a never happen. The day you put your goal in writing is the day it becomes a commitment that will change your life forever. Question is, and this is where it always happens, right here, right here, are you ready? 
It's funny. You're on Diamond Zone every day, but I still have to ask the question. Are you ready? Are you ready to take the uncomfortable steps? Are you ready to get into the unnatural and the unbelievable? Are you ready to challenge yourself? Because I say it all the time. This will buckle the mightiest of men. It's so funny. I got to tell this quick story. Eric Worre came up and he started talking about Stop telling people it's easy. This is simple. It's easy. This will buckle the mightiest of men. You know why? Because you're in the uncomfortable. Let people know. And then a guy named, uh, some of you know a gentleman. Um, his name is Tim Sales. He's been in the industry for years. He comes up, and this guy, this guy was in the military. He goes, I have to contradict one thing that Eric Worre said, that multi-level is hard. He goes, what? You want to know what hard is? Jumping out of an airplane with a parachute when people are shooting at you in Iraq. You want to know what hard is? When you finally land and the Taliban captures you. He goes, that's hard. Multi-level? Are you kidding? This is easy. See, in other words, we say this is hard, but let me ask you a question. Compared to what? What are you comparing it to? Let me ask you all a question. What's hard here? What's hard? Can I tell you the biggest problem you'll have? Let me tell you what's hard. No, 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 no. That's what's hard. I just gave you the hard. That's the worst case scenario. What's hard about that? And so now that you know that's the worst you're ever going to hear, are your legs blown off? Are you in a wheelchair? That's the worst case. No one's digging ditches here. And that's what I love about this business. It's the purest form of entrepreneurship you will ever, ever experience. Just look at this, guys. Risk versus reward here. Versus a traditional business. Risk versus reward. I ask you again, where's the risk? Where's the risk? Your $500 pack, your $1,300 pack, your $2,000 pack, your loyalty, it's the purest form of entrepreneurship that's out there. But you have to believe it. If you don't, you never open your mouth. You never talk to people. And if you do, you're talking to the onesie twosies. You know what I mean by that? One person every now and again. Oh, I'm working hard, Jeff. I got somebody on the call tonight. Whew, I'm exhausted. Whew. I called the person, they said yes, and they're on the call. Now I gotta follow up. Oh my God, this is hard. Really? You gotta start to laugh, really, at yourself. And we, we start to define that that's hard. Hi, oh, I made my list, I, got, I gotta take a break. And your break is 30 days. Am I not right? Come on, you're talking to me. You can't fool me. I've played all the games. Oh, this is hard. You know what's hard? Making the decision. You know what's hard? Being ready and doing something. That's what's really hard here. Okay? So setting goals is a meaning of identifying and plotting how you are going to achieve your aims in life. By writing down your goals, you are committing yourself to accomplishing them. Therefore, make sure that your goals are important to you. Here we go again, ready? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What, what, ha what do you want to change? Is it money? Is it time? Is it freedom? What is it you're looking for? You gotta, you gotta dig deep, guys, into your soul. Why are you doing this? Important to you. 
And this is what we have to do now. We're going to get into specifics, not today, but we're going to get into specifics this week. Motivation and commitment are what makes us strive to achievement. They give us the push, desire, and resolve to complete all of the other steps in the goal process. What's your motivation? The motivation can be obtained by developing a person. This is a hint, a little clue. Motivation can be obtained by developing a personal statement that creates a high level of emotion and energy that guarantees achievement. I don't know what that will be for you. Maybe it's the one person that said, if you do this, you're gonna lose everything you got. And that's the dumbest decision you ever made. I wanna make sure you know that, John, before you make that decision. You're gonna fail miserably. Maybe that's your motivation. I don't know. Maybe it was one of the naysayers. Maybe it's all the people waiting for you to fail. Okay, but just as an example, okay, a motivational story that, 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 that we took away from. One self-help expert said as a child, he was kicked out of his local country club pool because he was not a member. In response, he later made a goal that he would one day have a pool that is one foot bigger than the country club's pool. The motivation of being asked to leave the pool provide the necessary fuel for him to achieve his goal. You guys follow me? What's your motivation? If you're not motivated, there's no energy. Without energy, there's no work. And without work, you're pretending you're involved in multi-level. See, if I said to someone, someone said to me, if I'm brand new, and someone said to me, how's your business going? And I haven't made a dime, What's my, but I, but I, but I have my goals, I'm working my business every day, what's my response? My business is phenomenal. See, the day you set a goal is a day you could share that goal with others. <laughs> Lawrence, how's your business going? My business is phenomenal. I just got started. And do you know the business plan I put together? I'm going to make $125,000 next year. That's how it's going. Why could you not set your goal? Why can't you tell people what your goal is? No one, how, how can anybody tell me that's not, but Lawrence, how's it going? Well, you know, it's okay. I'm excited. Good, go try to, go try to recruit somebody, okay? Telling them you're excited. Have you made money yet? Nah, not really. All right, good luck to you, Lawrence. Then we wonder why the person not, doesn't want what you got. Lawrence, how's it going? Unbelievable. I'm, a, I'm surrounding myself around a group of people. One's a seven-figure income earner. And do you know I just left the person's house and he put me on a business plan? I'm going to make 125 grand this year. I just got involved in wearable technology. I'm bringing it into the marketplace. Man, I am so excited. And I have my plan. Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference in posture? Do you see the difference? But what's going to motivate you to do that? What drives you? Has anybody pissed you off? Maybe that's your motivation. I don't know, but you got to find it. Motivational story. Commitment. Commitment creates more accountability and is what sets us direct course to reach our goals. It may create costly negative consequences upon failure to attain a goal. Commitment. I'm all in. No, no, not words. Stop with the words. Stop with the damn I'm in words. Okay, I'm in means I'm committed and I'm following my plan. And we're going to talk about specific plans. I'll go through my numbers here in a second, just to get your head right. Making a commitment might be something like having, investing, 
invest it, your savings in your new business, which will lose if it fails. Remember I said, you gotta pretend you got a million dollars in this game? You gotta play that game with yourself because you don't have enough to make this really something that you have to make work. Speaker after speaker said that. You can't put enough money in the game to, 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 to form the commitment. Motivation and commitment are specific to your situation and life, and only you can form statements that will ensure you reach your goal the quickest. Specific to your situation, let me break that down. How many hours a week are you putting against this? If you're working 45 hours a week or 50 hours a week, your specific commitment is different than me and Lisa. Don't compare yourself to us. We're two people and this is all we do. So if Lawrence is working full time, he can't compare okay, my commitment to his because that's gonna blow him out of the water. But why would he hold himself accountable right, to something he can't do? That's what I'm talking about. But he can't hold himself to what he says he's going to do. The, per, the more personal you make the motivation and commitment statements for each goal, the more motivated you will be to accomplish your goal. Be flexible. Be ready to readjust your goals and not give up on them. If they are too easy, they won't be worthwhile. And if they are too tough, you will, you will then start thinking that the idea of goal setting is worthless. Remember, small victories lead to big successes. We're going to help you with this. To set realistic goals based on what you want to have happen. But I'm just going to show you what happened with us. But here's the mentality I want to get you guys ready for. Why goals fail? The goal wasn't written down. If it's not written down, it has no value. Something happens magically when you write something down. These notes to me are precious. I'm just old school. I, just, I take notes just, I'm old school. That's how I take notes. I could circle, right? I, I could highlight. I, I, could, I could put, I'm not, I'm not there with my computer, I'm just there with my notes. Rewards for achieving the goals were not given. Gotta reward yourself. Lawrence says to himself today, Jeff, damn it, Lawrence, I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna make 40 phone calls today. Forget the outcome, Lawrence. If he makes 40 phone calls, he should reward himself. I'm having that damn martini tonight. I'm <laughs> just, 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 just whatever it is. Okay. You got to reward yourself based on what you're willing to do. Find your little successes. This is what keeps it's, it's a game, guys. Forget the outcome, Lawrence. Now he may go more specific. I'm calling 40 people, and damn it, tonight I'm gonna have five people on that call at six o'clock. Come hell or high water, that's my goal. The, the, why goals fail? The goal was unrealistic or not specific enough. I just got specific with Lawrence. I'm just using them as an example. The goal is not really believable or little commitment exists. I'm going to be a diamond. Just words. I'm all in. I'm going to be a diamond. But then when you look and say, how are you going to become a diamond? Well, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to make some calls. Oh, oh, oh really? No, let's get specific now. What does a diamond have to do? How are you going to do that? That's where we're going to break that down. Keep changing or switching the goals based on the weather. These are why goals fail. The person who set the goals has not told anybody else for added accountability. You know what Eric Worre said at the end? Whatever your goal is, for 2018, tell as many people as you can that hold you accountable.
anybody that comes in your way. Do you know I'm on a business plan? I'm gonna make $125,000 next year. I'm gonna get this rank, and this is what it means financially to me, and tell as many people as you can. Hold yourself, com uh, commit that commits you, doesn't it? And then they start to see your consistency. And then this is how you start to get people's attention. Wow, what the hell happened to Lawrence? Something's going on with that dude. He's talking about goals. He's talking about motivation. He's talking about freedom. He's on a plan. Something's different with him. You need people to say that about you. If people aren't saying something's different, nothing's changed. And if nothing's changed, why are they going to follow you? Oh, it's the same old Lawrence. Hey, man, I just got involved in this thing. You want to get involved with me? No, I don't, Lawrence, because I see nothing different in you. He's got to show something's different. The goal is not incorporated into a realistic plan. Measurements, timelines, and resources. That's why goals fail, guys. The benefits suffer less from stress and anxiety. You have your plan. I'm just working my plan. I'm not married to every outcome of every day. I have my plan. And as long as I execute my plan, I know the more seeds I sow, the bigger the harvest. I know that some of those seeds will be eaten by birds. Some of the seeds won't catch right the, 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 the soil. Some of the seeds won't receive enough water, but some, if I, if I plant enough, some will create a harvest. Not worried about it. I just know that I'm seeing my sow. Well, see, well, you know what I'm saying, okay? Concentrate better. Show more self-confidence. Why? I got my goal. Well, how's it going? Well, the way it's going is I've, I, I've done what I'm supposed to do this month. Here's the results I've gotten. I'm here for the long term. Here's my goals. Here's my plan. There's no like up and down, right? Some of us run multi-level like, like it's a roller coaster. One day, it's the greatest business in the world. Next day, oh my God, what the hell did I do? Right? We all go, your emotional roller coasters. You have a goal. I'm self-confident. It's like start an exercise program. Done. Since I'm going to be committed to my exercise program, I'm going to get the results. Perform better and you're happier. Just business. So let me show you as I close this thing out. When we first got started in the business, a lot of you have seen this because I closed it up sometimes every meeting. Our goal was to talk to 500 people quickly. Between me and Lisa. Don't let these goals scare you. It's just what we had to do. Okay? So 500 people. We took our enti entire cell phone address book, both of us, all of our Facebook friends, and we made a comprehensive list. And I'll show you how we broke this down. But bottom line was this. Out of 500, of the seeds that we put into the ground, 97 people showed interest, which meant 403, 403. No response, didn't see the email, didn't, find, didn't pick up the phone, didn't listen to their voice message, whatever way. But 97 showed interest. 97 got the information. And out of 97, we sponsored 40 people, our first pay cycle. And our first pay cycle netted us $17,000 in income. Remember your income disclosure, please. But that income disclosure, I promise you, the person making less than $500 didn't, didn't talk to 500 people their first pay cycle. 
If everybody talked to 500 people their first pay cycle, that there would be no income disclosure. You guys get it? The reason why the people make less than 500, they have no plan, they have no goal, they haven't done anything, and they expect it to work. Isn't it kind of funny we have to have an income disclosure based on people doing nothing? I think that's nuts. Why don't they just say, most people do nothing, therefore you will earn nothing. That's my income disclosure. Those are our numbers. Tell me you couldn't run 500 people if you really wanted to. Tell me you couldn't do it. I dare you. You could. It's just a matter of, can I? Will I? Not can I. Will I? Your, mom, your numbers may be 200. It's putting enough people into the soil fast, fast. Not next week, fast. We had, we had to replace an income. That's why we were motivated. We couldn't live okay, and start over and go slow. We left an income. You see where the motivation came from? We had to make this work. And what did it really take? I broke down the 500 people and, and, and a 50 of them I made personal phone calls to. They weren't text. If Lawrence was on my list and I've identified Lawrence as somebody that I wanted on my team because I know him and I know his passion and I know what he's done in his life, he got a phone call. He didn't get a text, he got a phone call from me. I had a plan. Some people just got the text. Some people got a voicemail. But so, certain people said, Lawrence, let me tell you why I'm calling. Lisa and I just started the biggest project of our life. Are you familiar with the Fitbit, Lawrence? This is Fitbit on steroids. We're first to bringing wearable technology into the industry of network marketing. I thought of you, brother. I'm gonna send you this two minute video. This is a phone call. I want you to watch it and think about earning a percentage off every device. I'm structuring my company right now for you to be at the top. And all that means to you is you're gonna be structured to be able to earn on everything that I do into the future. You see the difference? I'm not talking about heart rates and heartbeats and blood sugar and all that other stuff. I'm starting a company. I have beachfront property for you. 50 of those 500 got a phone call. I want you guys, I want you guys to run your numbers. So you have a result. Would it matter if you showed somebody that you, 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 you sent out 100 messages, right? And 10 people showed interest and you got two people in and you made 700 bucks, would it make a difference? No, wouldn't make a difference. You did it. My challenge is to do it. Only difference between us and you, we did it, that's all. It wasn't hard work, it wasn't sweating bullets, it was just a plan. And we both looked at each other and said, we have to launch. We gotta get a large amount of people the information to get a large group of people working quickly. So then we had 40 people. Now you wanna know the results from that so far? Out of the 40, we have six, I'm sorry, we have, how many working legs do we have, Lise? We have eight working legs. Out of the initial 40. And you saw some of them, you saw the money we earned if you, if you were on stage through eight working legs. Now, one of the things I took away, you gotta, we gotta bring in the class of 2018 now. Now we're gonna bring in the class of 2018. That was the class of 2017. Now we didn't stop at 40, we sponsored over 100. I'm talking about our first, it's, it's, it's a large group of people first, so you get some traction. Now we're gonna bring our class of 2018 in starting today, not in 2018, today, today. 
And then we're gonna bring in another 40 people. And that's the class we're gonna work with. You guys got it? That's it. That's the, it's, it's just numbers. But hold yourself accountable. And I just wanna leave you with this. What do you want? I love that scene. What do you want? You see, when you ask people, they don't know. Well, I, I want this. I'll be specific. So, guys, I appreciate all of you. Let me say hi. Let me say goodbye. Tonight, 6 o'clock. Tonight, 6 o'clock, I'm doing the presentation. When you see it on Facebook, I say it every time, share it with as many people as you can. You don't know who's looking today. Somebody's looking. Hold yourself accountable. Just say to yourself, I'm going to get X amount of people on the call and work towards that goal today. I don't care if it's one. But when you see it, share it. I look forward to seeing all you guys tonight at 6 o'clock. Thanks, guys. Appreciate all of you.